a special story behind it, you know. It's full of different logical puzzles and riddles. Mm -hmm. And your task is in one hour as a group solve all, solve all the riddles. And as you do that, you'll be able to move forward and hopefully in the end to escape from the riddle. All right? And to also uncover its mystery, to uh, know what happened there and, you know, what's behind the story, okay? Uh, so also there are a few rules that you we kindly ask you to follow. Okay. Uh, first one is that uh, you already read on the poster, please don't use any physical force, okay? So every puzzle can be solved without using a force, just the power of your brains, logical thinking, and teamwork. Okay. This goes for closed doors, closed boxes, things like this, all right? Uh, next one is that um, wires, cameras, basically everything related to electricity is not part of the game. It's just the technical side of the room. So please don't, if you see something like this, don't try to pull it or grab it or do something with this object, all right? Everything you need, all the elements of the room are either on your eyesight level or maybe below or on the floor. This is a tip. So uh, pay attention to lower levels and the force, okay? There might be some interesting things for you there. Okay, okay um, next one is that um, everything, every object in this room is only meant to be used once. So for example, you found a key, this key will only open one thing, one lock. Once you used it, just uh, forget about it, leave it on the floor, move forward to the next task, okay? So don't carry all the objects that you find with you because <laughs> they just won't be very comfortable, okay? Okay. Uh, next uh, is that while we say this is an escape room, there are actually several rooms inside, not just one. Oh. How many? To be surprised, we already had some guesses there, but uh, you'll see oh. in the end how many there are. Okay. Uh, keep in mind, though, that it's okay to move between the rooms. And at some point, you will actually need to go back to the previous room, do something there, or maybe find something there. And only then, you will be able to move forward to the next one. Make sense? Yeah. yeah. All right. Last but not least, if you feel stuck, you don't know what to do, you know, you've brainstormed, exhausted all your ideas, and still nothing comes to mind, there is a way for you to ask for help. In order to do that, uh, there's, you're about to enter an ancient Japanese maze. Mm -hmm. And this maze has eyes and ears. So if you need help, there is a ritual that you can perform to ask for it. You can stand in circle all together. Well, we normally require you to hold hands, but you don't have to, since most of you, I think, just met now. Yeah. <laughs> so no, you don't have to hold hands. Uh, together, so yes, but yeah, yeah, yeah. a good team, you know, if you want to be a good team, you'll hold hands and ask your question out loud. And, and maybe the spirits of the maze will uh, give you some kind of a clue. In maybe, their maybe Jimmy will give us a clue. Which, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the spirits so usually kind of spirits. are oh, nice, okay. so nice. they'll give you some kind of an answer, and hopefully it will help you to move. Good. Okay? And, uh, and the spirit from rings is going to give us some answers too. <laughs> no, those kind of spirits are, we try to keep them away, you know, so we only have nice <laughs> good, good. spirits in this, in this maze. But there are it's also tribe. some evil tribe. things that you will have to defeat. So hopefully you you will be able to do that. Yes. Excellent. Okay. So do you have any questions? No. We will have questions inside. Inside we have questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, if you guys are ready, please uh, choose ready. one of these masks ring. and put it on. Uh, if you have glasses, you can just That's put it over your forehead, so it's more comfortable.